inspires a man who's inspired a nation. Answer, the iconic Spitfire and Hurricane from the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, chosen to fly over Captain Tom Moore's village to salute his 100th birthday, a landmark it seemed everyone wanted to celebrate. Many happy returns. Thank you very much. And you've got your telegram from the Queen there. Yes, it's signed Elizabeth. This won't get thrown away. <laughs> to have the, the good wishes from so many people really is quite outstanding. It's, it's, it's mind-breaking, really. In the skies over Bedfordshire, they've been highlighting his record fundraising achievement. Some of the first presents were delivered by members of his old Yorkshire regiment, including a promotion. There is a letter here uh, from the Chief of the General Staff that conveys your appointment to become the Honorary Colonel of our Army Foundation College. It was an honour that clearly meant a lot. And I think to get these, really, that's, that's the icing on the cake. It truly is. This is all the mail for Captain Tom, all this mail here. The village post office was packed with birthday presents and cards from around the world. I've been a postmaster for 32 years, never in my entire period so far. I've never seen anything like this at all. But that is nothing. There are so many birthday cards celebrating the landmark day and the £30 million Captain Tom has raised walking round his garden, they fill the great hall at his grandson's school. You know, he's broken so many records over the last few weeks, but this has surely got to be another one. 140,000 birthday cards, and that doesn't include the many, many sackfuls that arrived today. From the man who's already inspired us, there were more uplifting words today. Eventually we'll win, or we always do win in this country. It, sometimes it takes time, but this time, we will certainly win. Happy birthday to you. His family say it's time to enjoy a little rest now. On the day his fundraising for the NHS passed £30 million. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Paul Davis, ITV News, Bedfordshire.